Mason from FX Empire and welcome to the Daily Crypto Tech Review of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Ripple's XRP. We're looking at the moving averages, the day's support resistance of pivot levels and the Fibonacci's. It is Friday the 12th of November. Looking at Bitcoin against the US dollar, it's been a mixed morning. Giving me to Bitcoin, avoid a fall back through the pivot at 64.804 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 65.528. Plenty of support will be needed. For Bitcoin to break back through to 65,500. So, barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level. And yesterday's high at 65,541 to cap the upside. In the event of an extended rally, should see Bitcoin target its all time high 68,958 before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 66,266. With the third major resistance level sitting at 67,728. Fall back through the pivot. We'll bring the first major support level 64066 into play. Barring an extended turf on the day, however, Bitcoin should avoid sub 63's second major support level, but 63342 should limit the downside. Looking at the EMAs, 15 narrowing on the 100 and the 200, so that's putting pressure on Bitcoin. So look out for any further narrowing to bring further downside ahead. So key would be to avoid a fallback through the pivot at 64804. And move back through to 65,500 levels to then target that all time high. Moving across the Ethereum against US dollar, bullish start to the day. Going into Ethereum, avoid the pivot at 4694 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 4811. Support from the broader market will be needed to break out from yesterday's high, that was at 4783.05. So, barring an extended rally on the day, that first major resistance level should cap the upside. In the event of a breakout, should see Ethereum target 5,000 levels before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 4,899. Fall through the pivot will bring the first major support level at 4,606 into play. Barring an extended turf on the day, Ethereum should avoid sub 4,500 levels. Second major support level sits at 4,489. Looking at the MAs, 50 is holding its ground against the 100 and the 200. So that's providing some early morning support. So key would be for Ethereum to break out from that 50 MA and move back through to 4,800 levels to then target 5,000 levels. Looking at Litecoin against the US dollar bullish start, going into Litecoin avoid a fall back through the pivot at 262 to continue the run at the first major resistance level at 274. Plenty of support would be needed for Litecoin to break back through to 270s. So barring an extended rally on the day that first major resistance level and yesterday's higher. 274.27 should cap the upside. In the event of breakout, should see Litecoin retest resistance at 300 before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 286. Fallback through the pivot will bring the first major support level at 251 into play. Barring an extended turf on the day, Litecoin should avoid sub 245. Second major support level sits at 239. Looking at the EMAs, 15 narrowed marginally on the 100 and the 200, but this morning's breakout suggests. A widening of the 50 from the 100 and 200 to support further upside. So key would be to avoid a fall through the pivot at 262, break back through to 270s to then target resistance level. Finally, looking at Ripple's XRP against US dollar, also bullish going into Ripple's XRP, avoid a fall back through the pivot at 1.2157 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 1.2534. Support would be needed for Ripple's XRP to break back through to 1.25. So barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level and yesterday's high at 1.25344 to cap the upside. In the event of a breakout, should see Ripple's XRP target 1.3s before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 1.2912. A fallback through the pivot will bring the first major support level at 1.779 into play. Barring an extended turf on the day, Ripple's XRP should avoid support 1.15. Second major support level sits so at 1.1402. Looking at the EMAs, 50 has narrowed on the 100. So look out for a possible bearish cross there. So key through the early part of the day would be to avoid a fallback through the pivot at 1.2157 and break back through to 1.25 to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that and support levels will come into play.